Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Scott here from Can Geek Games and Collectibles, welcoming you to the Can Geek YouTube channel. And um, this is going to be a weekly rant, but it's going to be a weekly rant on a serious topic. So please don't uh, skip the video. Please do watch this. So up here in Toronto yesterday, a mother was faced with what I can only describe as an unimaginable choice. Uh, a choice that honestly no parent should have to make. The choice in question was removing her 12 year old daughter, a girl by the name of Victoria, from life support after Victoria attempted to commit suicide. This 12-year-old girl had apparently been the recipient of merciless bullying and had decided that her only escape was to take her own life. And it's a heartbreaking story. It is a heartbreaking story because no child should ever feel like ending their own life is the only escape that they have when dealing with bullies. Now I will leave a link to the original story in the description down below for anyone who, who wants to follow up on this. But I will tell you that as a father of two my children are both my greatest hope and my greatest fear. They are my greatest hope, obviously, because I hope for their future. I hope that they will grow up, fall in love, get decent jobs, and live long, happy lives. It is the hope that I'm sure most parents have for their children. They are also my greatest fear because I am fearful for the choices that they will make as they are growing up. I am fearful as a parent that they could find themselves in this type of situation. That they could decide to make a choice like this. That Suicide would be their only escape from the struggle that is life. That is my greatest fear where my children are concerned. Because no parent, and I mean no parent, should ever have to bury their children. Bullying is a topic that needs to be regularly discussed. It is a topic that is regularly discussed with my children. I remind them that their words and their, uh, and their actions have consequences. That you cannot always tell what is going on in someone's head. You could say something and not realize how hurtful that could be. Words and actions have consequences. I also remind my children regularly that if they are the victim of bullying, that they have resources to turn to. They can talk to me, they can talk to my wife, they can talk to people at their school, or they can talk anonymously to um, agencies like Kids Help Phone, which by the way, I will also leave a link for in the description down below. No child should ever feel like suicide is their only out. 
I say that not only as a parent, but I say that as someone who almost took that road himself. Because of these right here, I was the victim of merciless bullying going through the education system. Now, I felt the need back in February to offer a blog for Bell Let's Talk Day, which is a day here in Canada where a telecommunications giant donates so much money to mental health initiatives uh, when you use a specific hashtag on social media. I felt the need to discuss through this blog my personal challenges with mental health that were a direct result of the merciless bullying that I experienced growing up. And I will, for the sake of this video, also include a link to that blog in the description down below. Words and actions have consequences. As human beings, we need to be a little less critical of the people around us and try to be a little more supportive. I remind myself of that every day, or at least I try to, because I would like to say that the bullying that I experienced ended when I left the education system, but ironically it didn't. It actually followed me into my working life when I was bullied by co-workers at a, um, well, at a video store that I used to work at. And you would think that adults would know better, but sadly, not every adult does. Some children who are bullies who are left unchecked grow up to be bullies as adults. So I try to remind myself every day that my words and my actions have consequences and affect the people around me. I'm going to ask that anyone who is actually watching this video to the end, if you're a parent, please Please have these conversations with your children. Remind them that they have resources to fall back on if they are being bullied. And they, and they should not be bullies either. That their words and actions have consequences. And as an adult, maybe remind yourself of that once in a while as well. I'm not passing judgment here. I don't know everyone that watches these videos but even when we say things that we don't mean in a mean or hurtful manner sometimes they can be perceived in a mean and hurtful manner by the people we're saying them to just be aware of that no parent should ever have to bury their child. This mother has actually requested that the media tell her daughter's story in the hopes that no one else will experience this, I guess. In the hopes that it will bring about hard conversations that need to be had about bullying and mental health awareness. That's actually why I'm recording this video today. Because I agree with this lady. These conversations need to be had. They need to be had regularly because bullying is not a new subject. It's something that has been taking place for years and years. And sadly it will probably continue to take place for years and years. Now, we have come so far from when I was in school and I was the victim of bullying. But we still have miles to go to stop this action dead in its tracks. Once and for all. And that's why I'm recording this. Because these conversations 
need to be had. At least in my opinion. So, thank you very much for watching this video to the end. Check back soon for another update here on the Ken Geek YouTube channel. Please do have those conversations. Of that I actually plead with you. And until then, ciao for now.